Hi, everybody. We are going to do a box uh, class today where we're using the box in lots of different ways. Um, so if you could go to universal settings, which is gear bar two and stopper two, and then one and a half springs. I just want your carriage to not move around very easily. So one and a half, two springs, something like that. And then your box on the reformer in the long position and the foot bar down. And we're just gonna start sitting on top of the box. And sitting up nice and tall, take some significant space between the legs. So the legs are at least as wide as the outer hips. And then just holding onto your knees, just round your back, back, like you're trying to stretch out at the back of your pants. And then sit back up. Pull your elbows wide and lift your sternum up to open across the collarbones. Do that again, rounding back and lifting back up. Yeah. And rounding back, you can stretch out in that position a little bit longer if you like. And as you lift up, pull the elbows wide, lift the sternum. And then you can start to progress this by taking the arms forward and making it a little bit more abdominal. As you extend the spine, open the elbows out and lift the sternum up. And obviously you're trying to sit far enough back that you have lots of space behind you on the box, but you also aren't tipping it as you sit back up. Open the elbows wide. Reach the arms forward, open across the front of the hips, stretch the lower back open and stretch the upper back open. Let's do twice more rounding back. Kind of um, massaging the lower back open. So each time you're doing this, you're going a little bit further and rounding back and coming up, open the elbows. Then reach one hand across and touch the opposite knee. That arm, the free arm is gonna rotate open and then you're gonna stretch across to the other leg. So you're pulling against your leg to give you some assistance in rotating really far, rotating really far. Pull against your leg with your hand that's touching your knee. So it's definitely not passive. Push, pull and push, pull. Try to, instead of leaning forward or kind of leaning back now, be right up on top of your sit bones. That's better, nice. And two more. Then you're gonna rotate open, go up and over, round to your lower back, touch your knee. Rotate open, up and over, touch your knee. Rotate, should just increase the stretch, big gooey kind of stretchy quality, taffy quality. And one more time, finish up even on both sides and then coming back up. Make sure there's still space behind you on the box. Grab one leg behind the knee, lifting the leg up to tabletop, roll down a little bit further. Use your abdominals and roll back up. You're kind of testing the waters. If you need to adjust, adjust. You're gonna roll down and you want kind of the bottom edge of your shoulder blades at the edge. And then you're gonna lift the other leg up. You can keep touching your legs or hover your arms or hands behind the head and go into a few toe taps. You're lowering one leg, lift it up. Lowering one leg, lifting up. Touching the leg gives you a little bit more weight reaching forward help you a little bit more. If you're strong in the abdominals, hands behind the head might feel like a nice challenge. One more each side. And then drop one leg, grab behind the other, use the leg to roll back up. Keep the leg up, try to make your shin kind of level with the ceiling. So we're gonna be working on some teasers today in different positions. So this is kind of the beginning of teaser. Lift the other leg up to meet it. You're gonna reach your arms overhead, circle your arms around. So double leg stretch, reach the arms and legs out, circle around. Just three more, reach out, circle around. 
and reach out, circle around, drop one leg, use the leg if you need to, to come up, trying to keep the thigh that's closer to you, near you. Switch which leg you're holding on the back of, lift the leg up. So this is your teaser beginning, round back, come back, lay on your back. And from here, same thing, both arms and legs reach away from each other, circle around. Arms and legs reach out, circle around. Two more. And last one. Grab behind one leg, roll up. Then once you're back up at the top, touch the sides of the box, round to the back of the sitting bones. Lift one leg up to tabletop, lift the other leg up. So you're back of your sit bones. If you can, take the hands further forward, set one leg down, then the other, sit up in between. Round back, find that teaser position, hold as you lift one leg up, lift the other leg up, lower one leg down, lower the other leg down. So if you wanna advance that, you can round back, hold, and just hold here, reach the arms forward, lower the arms down, reach the arms forward, lower down a few times, just finding this balance point. Two more. And then lowering one leg down and sitting all the way back up. Good, we're gonna keep adding to that as we go, but turn to face the side. Take your heavy spring off. You might need to stand up off the box to do that. And half spring should be enough. Grab the strap with the inside hand kind of chicken wing arm, shoulders, ribs, hips, square to the front, half spring, reach your arm up. Obviously you can do it lighter if you want. Try not to sink or shift into the spine, feel the legs staying really parallel as you reach up. This is like your arm is in a door frame and your arm is just sliding up and down. Awesome, looks great everybody. And there should be a little bit of space here on the side. If there's not, scooch a little bit towards the shoulder rest so that we can add the next element. Good. Then if you wanna add to this, you're gonna side bend, use your hand on the box and try to push the arm out over the foot bar. You need a little bit of momentum to make that happen. Some of you will be able to get all the way down onto almost your forearm on the side. Just make sure you're controlling it. Nice. And feel like you kind of toss your arm overhead, punch overhead, and side bend at the same time. One more. And then bring the hands, uh, clasp the hands together, bring both into your chest and then like you're stirring a big pot, circle the arms around, stir a big pot. So it's not a lot of rotation like our side twist. It's more this kind of stirring motion through the arms, push, pull around. If it's a little too light, you can always fold the strap in half, make it a little heavier really easily. Nice. Add a little bit more rotation through the torso. And reverse the direction. Stir around. And keeping tension on the rope, reaching your hands as far away from you as you can. Kind of that corkscrew motion through the torso. Two more. And last one. And then uh, drawing a sword from your hip up onto the high diagonal. Shoulders stay square to the front, keep the legs parallel. It's gonna be harder if you let your legs dangle in terms of the pelvic stability. You'll feel you have to work harder to keep your torso still. If you wanna take your legs out straight, you're welcome to. 
Most of us can't do that without leaning back, including me. So I'm gonna stick with this. And down low, up high. Two more. And then coming back in. Awesome, put that strap down. And uh, if you're on your half spring, you can keep the half spring. You're gonna come onto your hands and knees on the box, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and just round your back up towards the ceiling, scooping through your lower abdominals, pushing the box away from you. So you're stretching the low spine open and then lengthening back out. You can go into a little extension of your upper back if that feels good. Do that a couple times, rounding through the lower spine, hollowing out the abdomen like a greyhound belly. And twice more, pressing down through your shins, lengthening back out. And last one. Good. And then you're going to shift your one leg to the center and put your foot in the strap, the one that's closer to the camera. So you can have the arch of the foot, you can have the, um, the ankle in the strap. Arch will be easier to keep a hold of. I'm gonna do a few variations here. So you're gonna start with your leg reaching out, you're in one long line, bend your knee until it kind of hovers over the box and then press it back out. And then as you bend and straighten, you're trying to keep your torso stable so you're not shifting forward and back. Yeah, and of course you can change the spring tension if this feels way too light. It's gonna add up, I promise, but um, you're welcome to make it heavier if you need. Awesome. And try to keep the spine neutral. So instead of rounding the tail under as the leg comes forward, Carrie, try backing your right knee up a little bit. So you have more space between your legs and your hands. I think it'll help you stabilize. Good. Then we're gonna go into big circles. So if you start with your leg down by your, the side of the reformer, lift it, push up, back and around. This can get pretty intense. So you might wanna bend the knee to press back, straight knee to go down. Bend the knee, circle it back, press down or stick with the straight leg. Pretty heavy. <laughs> and bend the leg, press it back in your circle, reach down one more this way. And reverse straight leg to press back, bend it as you control it around. This direction feels a little easier, I think. You can keep it straight the whole time. Feel free to do that. The other thing you could do is if it feels just like too heavy and you're dying here, just slide the strap up towards your back of your calf or your knee. It'll lighten the tension a little bit without you having to get off and adjust springs. Two more. And last one. Then press your leg back. You're gonna bend your knee like you're trying to bring it towards your elbow. Push it back out. If you wanna come down onto the opposite forearm, you can. Then press. Doesn't make it any easier, unfortunately. That's right. Good. I haven't done it with both forearms down. That feels a little restricted. It feels like you're, um, your shoulders are so square to the floor that you're not able to lift the leg to the side. If you had to do that, you could, but ideally it'd be just the one forearm so that your shoulder girdle can rotate a little bit. One last time. And then bring that leg into that ledge at the side of the box. Take the strap in your hand control it back in. Step off to the side, shake it out, and walk around to the other side. 
we're gonna do the arms and then the legs facing away from the camera or in the other direction. So starting with, uh, you have your half spring. So arm is reaching up towards the ceiling, bending down by the side, up and down. As you lift and lower the arm, at first, we're trying to stay really tall and straight. Like you're standing in perfect alignment in the center of a door frame. Your fingertips are gliding up and down it. It's a little bit of space on the side of the box near the foot bar direction. And then we're gonna add our arm and our side bend. So you have to use a little bit of momentum and you can use your hand, lean into the hand. You could even lean into the forearm. Each time you come back up, see if you can think of lifting a little taller. So you side bend and then you lift up really tall. Side bend, lift up really tall. Two more. And then you're gonna take it in both hands. This is that big stirring of the pot. So the arms come in front of you, bring your hands to your chest, circle it around. Reach the hands as far away from you as you can, circle it around. If you need more resistance, either shorten the strap or move towards the foot bar ends of the box. Reaching as far away from you as possible, letting your ribs rotate, but it is a lot of arm in this version of our Rotation here. Circling around, coming through and circle around. And reverse the direction. Try to find a way to keep tension on the rope so it doesn't get slack for a split second. Reach your hands away from you. Each time you stir the pot, it's a really big pot. Circle around. Two more. And then we're gonna draw our sword. So hand is holding the strap, the outside hand towards the foot bar, low to high diagonal. If it's a little too heavy, you feel your body shifting around, scooch towards the shoulder rest. Press up on the high diagonal, bend and bring the arm back in. So we've got that rotation up on the high diagonal. Trying to feel the glide of the back of the scapula on the rib cage. Three more. And last one, coming all the way back in. You can set that strap down, come off of the box and come onto kneeling on the box. Do a couple cat stretches. So pushing the box away, rounding through your lower back, stretching the back open, and then lengthening through the spine, a little bit of extension, just here to center ourselves off. And round the back, feel yourself in the middle of everything and lengthen out one more time. Round your back up towards the ceiling, scoop, push the box away from you and lengthen back out. Then the knee is gonna shift to the center, the foot can go on the ledge. The strap and foot that's further away from the camera is the one you're gonna put in the strap. Find your long line through your spine and then bending the knee. It kind of hovers over the box and press it out. You can pull it as far underneath you as you can keep your spine in one long line. Trying to keep the hips level, smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, good. As you press out, push out towards horizontal versus towards extension of the spine and hip, meaning reach out. Uh, in line with the level of your hip. As you bend, you've got to flex the hip as well, or it turns into kind of a weird, just like a folding of the knee. 
got to push into the strap and let the strap um, flex the hip and the knee. One more, push the leg out. We go into those big circles. You can bend to press out to straight leg, straight leg to come in or straight leg the whole time. It's a big circle. It's not just straight back, big circle. Like I want your leg up towards horizontal. Big circle. One more this direction. And reverse the direction. Straight leg to go back. Bend it a little as you come around the corner here. Last one. Nice. And then you're gonna press the leg out behind you, bend the knee, bring it in towards that shoulder, push it back out here, turned out. If you want, you can come down onto the forearm on the opposite side, bend in, press out, bend in, press. Four more. Last one here. Bring the leg back in. Set your foot down on the edge so you can safely take the strap off. Come off of your box and switch to one red spring. This is gonna start out feeling quite light, but it'll make sense as we go. So you're gonna sit on the box. We're working on a teaser, reverse teaser. So you're gonna hold the strap, make sure there's tons of space behind you. Almost scoot too far forward. That would be a better um, mistake to make. So not really a mistake, but choice. Um, keep your feet down. They can either be down on the headrest or they can be wide of the shoulder rest, but the feet aren't gonna pop up right now. So holding on to the straps, just starting to roll down to your back, figure out how far down you can go. Use the straps and the assistance of the straps to come back up. Rolling down and rolling back up. Yeah, nice. Should feel quite light at this point. So then you're gonna roll down and see if you can reach your arms overhead. Circle the arms around to come back up. Rounding down. You don't have to drop your head back, but you can. You can look towards the foot bar if you like. You can figure out exactly where you need to be so you can extend through the upper back. But I'd rather have you closer to the shoulder rest than closer to the foot bar. Yeah, do that twice more, rolling back. Circling around and rolling back, pressing the arms out of head, circle the arms around. You can stay doing that if that feels where you're at today, or you can round to the back of the sits bones and lift one leg up to teaser position. So um, with a bent leg. So just one leg. So start by rolling back, make sure you're in the right position. Like somehow I've scooched back too far. And then once you're there, you can lift the other leg up, reach the arms overhead, circle around, try to lift the legs and come up, keep the legs up. Try to come up to your teaser. Rounding back, the hands come towards the ears, circle the arms around, scoop, let the straps help you up. That's right. Carrie, try holding on to the shorter straps. I think that'll help you. Um, to get back up that last inch. I think you're just long. Awesome, Martina. Yeah, scoop the abs, come all the way up in your teaser. Yeah, beautiful, everybody. 
and rounding back, reach, circle, pull in. If you wanna progress that even further, you're more than welcome to straighten your legs and do your full teaser hold balance. And keep your legs straight, leave them where they are. Reach out, circle around. If you need to bend the knees to come up, you can. Twice more, whatever you're doing. Some of you might like to straighten the legs as you come up, bend them as you roll back, that's fine too. And then setting your feet back down. Awesome. Come off of here. And let's bring the foot bar up to the second from the top position. You're going to lay on your stomach with your chest over the front of the box. I'm going to do a little bit of swan dive here, letting the reformer help us. So separate your legs about as wide as the rails of the reformer. Turn your legs out. Hands on the bar. Just figure out if this one spring seems to be working for you. And if it does, then press out as you lift the spine, push down into the arms and let yourself lift up and then press back out to one long line, bend in. Neutral to press out, lift and come in, lengthen and bend. And if you feel like you don't have enough room and you're already on the universal settings, Sure, you could move your gear bar and your stopper or just wiggle forward a little bit. You do need your bottom ribs on the box uh, in the start position, but that'll give you a little bit more room. The other choice would be to lift a foot bar all the way up if you have a lot of extension. Yeah, keep those legs really active. Make sure the legs are apart, Grace. They might be, I just, oh, they are. I see the other one. It looked like one leg. <laughs> There we go, yeah. The legs apart will help your sacrum drop through so you have room to extend through the lower back. Good, then bring the carriage back in. Bring one hand to the front of the box and then just pushing out and in, keeping the elbow not pointed straight down, not pointed straight back. It's somewhere in between those two options. Should be kind of heavy, pushing out and pulling in. If you want this to be harder for the torso, bring your legs together and to parallel so that you have to work on stabilizing a little bit more along that midline. You're looking at the spring. So if you need more or less springs, you can adjust. One more time. And switch hands, elbows going kind of 45 degree angle, not straight side or straight back. Both hip bones, facing the ground or on the box the whole time. As your arm bends in, use your tricep, the back of the upper arm to slow the motion down. So instead of pointing the elbow up to the ceiling or way out to the side and just kind of letting the elbow collapse, resist the pull of the springs. And then watch me for one second. Both hands are gonna come back on the bar. The bar. You're just gonna do a little jump. It shouldn't feel heavy, shouldn't feel dangerous or like you're gonna hit yourself in the face. As long as your body stays where it is, you're just jumping like an inch or so off of the foot bar. You obviously can go further, just make sure you have control and that there's space behind you. Yeah, so a little bit of plyometric work here, kind of like jumping squat jumps for your legs. These are kind of like squat jumps for our arms. Last two. And then come all the way back in and come off of the box. And then just bring your knees up onto the box or sit straddling the box and just do a little shell stretch or child's pose. Just letting your back stretch open for a moment. And then we're gonna come off of here. Let's uh, keep our one red spring. Let's leave the foot bar where it is. Your legs just don't kick it as you get on. 
So we're gonna have the straps in our hands facing the back. Lift your leg over the foot bar. Why is the foot bar there? I think it's a good indicator if you're not engaging your legs enough, you'll keep hitting it with your shins. So chest at the front edge of the box. Of course, you can adjust springs as necessary, but still that one red spring should work. And just start with plow, lifting into extension of the upper back, flexing over the front of the box. Just walking the hands up a little higher on the ropes will make it heavier. Pulling down, lifting up through your upper back, lengthening back forward. Awesome. Good, Dana. That looks great. And then hold your arms back by your sides, bend and straighten your elbows. Six. Last one, go back into your plow. See if you can make your plow a little bit bigger. Down to pull and lift up. Lengthen back over the front of the box. Good. Open across the front of your heart and collarbone. Last one, and then you're gonna stay for your tricep presses. Press back, hold, six, five, wide across the front of the chest. Last one, and coming back in, and you can put the straps back on the posts or the shoulder rests or the hooks, whatever it is you have. Come off of the box and put the foot bar all the way down. Okay, uh, let's start with a half spring and see how that goes. Most likely it'll be a little bit light, but we're gonna try it first too light. So sitting up on the box, scooch pretty far forward, grab the straps in the hands. For the moment, you're just gonna bring your feet onto the edge and squeeze your inner thighs together against the box. So you're trying to bring your legs really to parallel. Press your arms forward. They can go above shoulder height and come back. Open wide across the collarbone, press forward and back. Squeeze in against the box with the legs. Yeah, nice. And then press the arms forward, hold them there, turn the palms to face each other, open out like second position, hug a tree and close. Open. So these are the arm motions that we're gonna be using in a more challenging way in a moment. Last one. And then bring the arms back down by the sides. Put your feet on the rails and scoot your hips forward so that you have lots of space. If you were to tip over, you wouldn't fall off the box. Let your feet slide. Make sure that they can slide. Okay, so now round to the back of the sits bones. If you need to take your sticky socks off or turn them inside out, you can do that. But stay in that teaser spine as you push pull. And if this feels a little too light, like the carriage is lagging, it's not moving, just add your quarter spring. So you have three quarters. Definitely harder for the arms, but a little bit more stability here. So this is our balance, our teaser balance in an easier position because our feet are down. Hold your arms open and closed for four. Stay in your teaser, three, Round to the back of the sits bones. So try not to be sitting up on your butt and just leaning back. You're curled through the pelvis, rounded. And then to finish that, make sure your arms come back forward before you reach your arms back down to sit. Okay, so we're gonna try this 
very slow and carefully with our legs and up, if you like, you don't have to. What I'd like you to remember is that your feet rest on these rails. So if you had an emergency and the carriage was way out here, putting your feet down in the center, they're gonna go through the springs, it's a mess. So just take your feet wide to catch yourself if you need. You're not gonna need to, but just it's an option. So find that rounding to the back of the sit bones position, lean back, lift one leg up, lift the other leg up, Four times the arms reach forward. Two. Obviously it's harder than when we were facing the other direction. Hold the arms up on the next one. Open out to the side. Only go as far as you can get back from. That's right, Dana. Yeah. And then when you get your arms back in front of you, lower your arms, set your feet down. We're gonna do one more set of those. If you want to go into this next level of making it the full teaser, you can do that as well. You might need heavier springs though. So you have three options, feet on the rails, four times arms sweep forward and back, four times they open and close. You could have your legs up here, four times they reach forward or back, or you can lay all the way down in your full teaser. I mean, well, my knees are bent, so it's not really a full teaser and come all the way down each time. Your choice, here you go. Rolling through the spine, holding or letting the feet glide on the rails. If you're just struggling to find that teaser, then you put your feet on the rails and focus on the position of the pelvis and the torso. Definitely making the springs heavier, like to one red will help you if you're doing the full teaser. One more time, whatever you're doing. Excellent. Good. And then you can come off of here, put the straps back on the shoulder rest. We're gonna uh, first lay on our side with our head towards the back of the reformer. Um, probably a half or three quarter spring will be good for shoulder work. So find one long line, your elbow and your shoulder are more or less in line with each other. Either the bottom leg can be bent, top leg straight or both legs straight. Take the strap in the hand in front of you, bring it in front of your shoulder, press towards your hip, up and around, just don't hit yourself in the face. If you want it to be a tiny bit heavier, hold a little higher on the rope or fold your strap in half. Good. You of course could add more spring tension as well. This feels light, make it heavier. Let's not uh, rest in our comfort zone here. Yeah, awesome. And then reverse the direction. Keep the legs lifting towards horizontal. Try not to let them droop towards the floor. Last one. And then the arm, just hold it forward, scissor one leg forward, one leg back and switch. And then see if you can press the arm back in sequence with the top leg. Yeah, top arm and leg, they can either go towards each other or if you want it to be bigger, take your arm and leg back on the same side. Last one. And put the strap down. Stay here. Let your top leg sweep back. Take your top arm towards the rail and just rotate in opposition. Look towards the back and bend the top leg a little bit like you're trying to touch your foot towards the back of your head. It's not anywhere near my head, but I'm thinking of head to foot to get a little bit of opening and then bring your leg back, 
swing yourself over to the other side. Either bottom leg bent and top leg straight or both legs straight, reaching the top arm into the strap. Find your balance, pushing down through the bottom arm, circling yourself around. You can kind of turn and look towards the bottom elbow to keep a little more space for your nose. Try to get your legs parallel so your kneecaps point forward. Reverse the direction of your arm. And then hold the arm in front of you. Scissor one leg forward, one leg back. Just finding your balance there. And then start to press the arm and leg back at the same time. Can be like walking, so oppositional, contralateral, or it can be top arm and leg go forward at the same time and go back at the same time. One more. And then put the strap down. Take your top leg back. Take your top arm forward to the rail. Look towards the foot behind you. And see if you can bring your foot towards your head to stretch, kind of push pull in opposite directions. And then bring yourself back up out of this. And we're gonna take and uh, put the box in the sideways position. So short box position in the middle of the carriage. So there's some space on both sides of it. Um, one spring probably will work for everybody. And we'll use the strap and the leg that's closer to the camera. So if you sit way at the edge of the box, and then put your top foot in the strap. Let's put it all the way up to our knee. Lay down on your side and straighten your spine out so you're in one long line. And then lifting the top leg and lowering it. You can use your hand on the box in front of you. Thinking of arcing through the top leg. So you're trying to not drop the hips back as the knee goes up. can either do it with the foot and the knee lifting, or you could keep the feet together. Usually that feels like a small range to me. Then straighten the leg out, push the leg back, reach it forward. If that feels pretty good, then move the strap down towards your ankle or onto the arch of your foot. Sweeping through the leg, try to get the top of the head and the foot to reach away from each other. The further down the leg, the strap is, the heavier the resistance, more work. One more time. Bring the carriage back in, take the strap off your foot, sit all the way back up and walk over to the other side. And sit really close to the edge of the Box, slide it all the way up to your knee. Hand is supporting underneath you. Try to get your shoulders, ribs, hips in one long line and start with that kind of opening the book feeling of the foot and the knee, both lifting. As you're pressing your leg up, trying to feel like the pelvis stays still. Two more. 
And then straighten that leg, press the leg back. If that feels good, slide it down the lever. The strap can be on the ankle, it can be on the foot, arch of the foot. And a few more here. Trying to keep your ribs, hips, shoulders stacked. Big range of motion. Three, two, and last one. And come all the way back in and take the strap off your foot. Take the box. Um, if you're on a low reformer, you don't need the box. If you're on a high reformer, then you'll use the box. So you're gonna put the box at the side of the reformer where a platform usually is, and then put the foot bar all the way up. Yeah. Uh, let's try one spring and go from there. So you're gonna stand up on the box. Again, if you're on a low reformer, you don't need a box. Us on the higher reformer, we're just trying to get to your height by using the box. So find a lunge position. I want you low. See how my knee is almost touching the carriage? I want you that low. And then push and pull. Your knee almost skims the carriage. You're touching the bar if you want with like a finger or two, but not like your whole weight leaning into it. Yeah, lengthen through your spine. Release the hands if you can. You wanna add some arms. Arms and legs can reach away or whatever feels good to you, stay low. Last one, bring the carriage back in, set that knee down for a second, just open up your hip, stretch your hip open. You can straighten the front leg a little bit. One more time, short and sweet little hip opener. and then stand back up. You may need to lighten this. You also might need to move the box back slightly. Um, see how it goes. But you're gonna stand, put your foot against the shoulder rest, push and pull. You're trying to find vertical. So you're trying to not be in a lean forward at this moment. Push, pull, push, pull. Yeah, and if that's going well, then you can lean forward, hold the lean, push and pull from there. So your butt shouldn't be sticking out behind you. You've got to lunge forward from your standing ankle. So you're in a long line through the torso. Push, pull. Awesome. The further back you are on the box towards the foot bar, towards the foot of the reformer, the lighter the springs are. So if it's too heavy, move back or lighten your springs. Yeah. Then find this vertical position again, keep the front hip the same, lunge, bring yourself back upright. Don't change the front leg, just change that back ankle. If all is going well and you wanna to try to lift the back heel, you can, not necessary, but Try to keep that front leg bent. Grace, think of pushing forward from the back glute, pushing you forward so the hip doesn't slightly get left behind. Yeah. So it feels like somebody comes up and pushes your pelvis forward and that's what moves you. Awesome, everybody. Good carry. Yeah. Last one. Hold again. Reach the arms out to the side. Just hold. Holding. Holding. And then bring yourself back upright. Cool. Step off of your box, carry it around to the other side. Or if you're on a low reformer, just walk around to the other side. And standing up on your box, find your lunge position. And knee really low and push, pull, find that press of the leg, 
can use a finger or two to get your balance and get your body organized and then see if you can release the hand. If you wanna add your arms, go for it. Two more. Last one, bring it back in, set your knee down. You might need to move your foot forward on the floor and stretch your hip open, stretch that front leg open, bring it back in. And one more time, pressing out and coming back in. Stand up onto the box and face the back. Put your foot in a comfortable position near the shoulder rest just to keep you attached. And start with being as vertical as you can while you bend and straighten that leg. Push, pull. Nice. And then find a lunge position forward. Hold it while you do that push pull of the front leg, good. Try to straighten and bend the front leg, hold the back leg still. So this is the beginning of our back splits, but modified. One more time. And then bring yourself back to that vertical position. Keep the front legs the same. Push out into the lunge from the back hip. Bring yourself back up. So as you come back up, it shouldn't be like your hip goes back first. The pelvis needs to stay between the head and the foot the whole time. Lunging. And it should feel like some work through the front leg to hold this position. Awesome. One more time, you're gonna hold this last one. Push forward, reach the arms out to the side, hold. Just hold, keep pulling back on the abs. Should feel like both legs are working a little bit. And three, two, and one. Come all the way back up and in. You can come off of the box. You can put it back under your reformer out of the way. And then let's switch to two red springs. So starting in your knee stretches position, so round your back, point your elbows down, push and pull. If you wanna hover this, go for it. About four more. Round your back, pull it in quick, pull it in quick. Uh, Dana, see if you can stay in a cat back the whole time, like a C curve through the spine. And then only go out as far as you can keep that C curve. That's better. And then bring the carriage back in. Press yourself into like a kneeling plank position and then let your hips come forward a little, extend your spine and then round your back back. Shouldn't really move too much the carriage. Open the front of the hip and the spine and round back just as far as it feels good. Feel like you're pushing down into the arms and lifting up out of the floor. And last one, round back. And we're gonna do one more set of knee stretches, either knees down or knees up. Four more, four, three, two, and last one, bring the carriage back in. You can either do a single thigh stretch standing at the side of the reformer or with your foot on the top, big stretch out and open the hip. Heavy springs is gonna help you to connect to the back of the glute, open up through the hip. Last one. 
and then switch over to the other leg. And just bowing forward over the leg, opening across the front of the hip. Twice more. Trying to open that back hip and then push through your arms to help you open the front leg. Last one, big stretch open. Come all the way back in and you're all done. Awesome work. Thank you guys for coming. Good job.